Good day, my loves. Good day. Hope you are well. I hope you had a restful sleep. I pray for peace of mind for you. I just got out the bed to let my cat outside. Because he will meow me to death. He meow me at six so he can get his treats. I trained him that way when I was up working my slave nine to five. And then, you know, since he's used to going outside, he will meow me to death either to open up the window, but now he done got too bougie because he wants to walk out the front door. That's a whole nother story. Because I be tired. Anyhow, as I came to lay back down and to try and get some rest, peaceful rest, with no noise, a thought came to my mind, and it's, it was nagging me to the point where I had to get up and, well, not get up, but to reach over and get my phone, right? And people say trust the process, right? This going to be quick because I'm tired. A lot of you here trust the process throughout this entire journey, but no one tells you what the process is or what it's going to encompass or how it's going to go. So you're just supposed to trust it. Well, let me give you a little bit of insight. The process is going to feel uncomfortable because you are doing things that you are not accustomed to doing. The process is going to feel like a punishment, but it's not a punishment. You're going to feel like I got you in the corner. You're in the timeout corner. You got to sit down. You got to take a break. I mean, you do have to sit down and you do have to take a break, but it is not a punishment. God wants you to see things that are unseen. He wants you to hear things that are unspoken. And he wants you to know things that you couldn't possibly know if you don't sit still, listen, watch, and pay attention. It's not a punishment. I know it feels like a punishment. And I'm speaking from experience. It do feel like a punishment because you want to do things. You want to say things. You want to go places. You want to do a lot. You still want to live your purpose. You want to live your divine path. You want to go on your mission. But God says you're not ready yet. You may feel ready. And that's not readiness that you're feeling. That's uncomfortable. That's uncomfortableness that you're feeling. That's, that's what's another word for being uncomfortable? Impatient. Impatient feels uncomfortable. So you have to sit still and realize why you're being impatient. Why are you so ready to go? What is it that you're actually running from? Because when God gives you something, it's, it's effortless. You won't feel the impatience. You'll feel excitement. You'll feel nervous energy. You may feel a little anxious, but you're not going to feel impatient. So whenever I'm feeling impatient, right? I recognize that that's part of the process. When you're feeling impatient, understand that is the process. Especially if you're anything like me and you're accustomed to getting things as you want them, right? Because you work for them. It's not that anybody gave you anything. I worked for everything I got in my life. Which was my problem. Because I didn't allow people to give to me. Because I was always giving. So allowing people to give to you is uncomfortable as well, especially if you are the giver and not a receiver. Okay? It's not a taker, because there are takers too. But a receiver, when you can allow God and other people to just shower you, you're not accustomed to that. But you will. We will. It's coming. Our gifts come from God. They're not going to come from the people that are around us, that are incapable of even giving to themselves in a capacity where they enter, understand, and understand what is going on around them. Yeah, I know what you're waiting for, but I'm letting you know, my love, it's not going to happen with the people that are around you. You are teaching them. You can't be friends with your students. Namaste, Ashe, Mazatav. I'll see you guys a little later. Enjoy the day, okay, my loves? Love you. Peace, love, and light.